In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, I'm Michael Bourne. And I'm Lance Powell. Happy Friday and congrats on surviving a full week of school. Yes, it's been a very, very long week, Michael. Especially with the quarter ending today. A lot has happened this week. Our boys basketball team suffered a heartbreaker against Lucas in overtime. Let me tell you though, Michael, they poured their hearts out into that game. So props to them. Well, Lance, winter sports aren't over just yet. Wrestling still has to wrestle for districts uh, Friday and Saturday. Well, I've had enough of sports. How about we go to politics? Politics, schmalitics. Thank you, John. Currently, the Democratic Party is fighting to see who will be the nominee to take on President Trump in the fall, the almost certain nominee for the Republican Party. The front runner for the Democrats currently is Bernie Sanders. Joe Biden and Michael Bloomberg trail closely behind him. Today, we are going around school to see what folks think about the election that is heating up. If you could support a candidate for the Democratic primary, who would it be? Joe Biden. Personally, it'd be uh, Tom Steyer. I don't know anyone besides Hillary Clinton. Because uh, from what I have been told and what I've heard, I would have to look into it a little bit more, but I've... Bernie Sanders. Figured out that I think he may be anti-abortion. Bloomberg, probably. And I do not, under I do not know his stance on gun control. But uh, that is my current choice for now. I'm not sure. I would say Bloomberg is the one I've heard the most about, but... Uh... I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I approve this message. I just think about this, you know, because you know, there's a lot of options. Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I can't do it, Joe. I can't do it. You gotta find someone else. You gotta find... It's interesting that people are choosing Michael Bloomberg often, because of the millions of dollars he's spent on commercials. So marketing for him must be working in polling. Also, Bernie Sanders' name recognition also has worked with people since they are choosing Bernie Sanders over all the candidates. I personally think that Joe Biden has the most experience out of them all as he was the vice president under Barack Obama. I personally think that Joe Biden should be our next president. Thank you, Joe, for the updates. We're approaching Election Day pretty fast, Michael. Speaking of days flying by, how do you feel about your senior year coming to an end? Well... I can't wait, man. I can't wait to get to college, man. That's going to be so much fun. And, I mean, you still have three more years, so... Yep. Yeah, good luck. Yep, three more years, sadly. But in one year, my sister Kyle will be out of the house, and I'll have the whole house to myself. <laughs> Well, since we are on the topic of school, we have our recent updates on the Zahara case. More with the details is C.C. Eckley. We have an update on Zahara, our facility dog who's been missing for weeks now. Authorities do believe that foul play is at work and have put together a list of suspects using the evidence gathered so far. 
A piece of security footage was found to be missing from the school's files, but the tech experts at Good Morning Panther have managed to recover it. As a warning, it is graphic. Truly horrifying. The note we found when the case first broke has also been picked apart. Authorities believe it may be a secret code as to where Zahara can be found. One theory suggests the note signifies coordinates, responding to the numbers 1001. Guess not. Nevertheless, the list of suspects currently includes Mrs. Sternberg. Ms. Sternberg, where were you when Zahara went missing? I was in the chapel. Jesus is my witness. Blessed Mother is the witness. I was praying my daily rosary and that's where I was. That's a pretty safe alibi. Mr. Lilji. I had nothing to do with Zahara. If that's what you're asking me, I know that. All I know is Zahara was here and then they hired Mr. Walsh and Zahara was gone. So I don't know, maybe it was Mr. Walsh. You're, you're not going to Epstein me, are you? This Who? isn't what... E he didn't do it. I didn't do it. Mr. Walsh did it. Maybe it was Mr. Palmer. Who's seen Mr. Palmer today? I don't I know. I haven't. No. I did not do it. I did not... What? Yeah, there were dog biscuits in my car. Who cares? That has nothing. I'm leaving. I'm done with this. Mr. Freilich? Mr. Freilich, what do you think about your inclusion on the Zahara's missing suspect list? All right, so class, the third special property that we're learning are inscribed. Mr. Freilich, please uh, answer Inscribed the quadrilaterals. Can you please leave? Interrupting my class. So Mrs. Walsh? I don't even know who this Zahara person is. I I've never heard of Zahara. It's, it's our dog. We have a dog. And Mr. Reedy. Mr. Reedy, what do you have to say about Zahara missing? I have nothing to say. M Mr. No. Reedy, you are the main suspect. <laughs> nothing to say to you to people. Say? Nothing. Tell the no. students what they want. After speaking with all the suspects, I can confidently say that's all we have for now. As more information comes in on the case, you can be sure we will be the first to report on it. Stay tuned. <laughs> are you guys going to be okay to talk about Zahara? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Guys, it's going to be okay. We'll, we'll find her eventually. <laughs> Horrible. Just ho I can't believe somebody would do this to our school dog. Well, I'm more of a cat person myself. <laughs> of course you are, freshman. <sighs> well, I believe that's all the time we have. On, uh, can we redo this? Because I have a better eye. Talk this week, especially with the quarter ending soon. Uh, Bail them out. Well, Bro. there's definitely something wrong with you on this yeah, there is Friday afternoon. Wrong. Well, it's been a long week, Michael. <laughs>